This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'll be looking at magnetism in the transition elements. In this video we'll be looking at the effects of a magnetic field from a neodymium magnet on four compounds manganese dioxide, nickel nitrate, copper sulfate and zinc nitrate. So we'll start by looking at the zinc 2 plus ion. Here we have the electronic configuration of the Zn2 plus ion and as you can see from the orbital diagram there are no unpaired d electrons. So let's have a look at the effect of an external magnetic field on the sample of zinc nitrate. And as you can see the magnet is having no effect on the sample of zinc nitrate. Next we look at the copper 2 plus ion. Here we have the electronic configuration of the Cu2 plus ion and as you can see from the orbital diagram it has one unpaired d electron which is this one here. And let's look at the effect of an external magnetic field on the sample of copper sulfate. As you can see there is a weak attraction between the magnet and the sample of copper sulfate. Moving on to the nickel 2 plus ion. Here we have the electronic configuration of the Ni2 plus ion and as you can see from the orbital diagram there are two unpaired d electrons. So once again we'll have a look at the effect of an external magnetic field on the sample of nickel nitrate and as you can see there's quite a strong attraction between the magnet and the sample of nickel nitrate. Next we look at the Mn4 plus ion. Here we have the electronic configuration of the Mn4 plus ion and as you can see it has three unpaired d electrons. And once again if we introduce an external magnetic field you can see there is a strong attraction between the magnet and the sample of manganese dioxide. So let's have a summary. The zinc 2 plus ion showed no effect in the magnetic field and it has zero unpaired 3D electrons. The copper 2 plus ion had a weak effect in the magnetic field and it has one unpaired 3D electron. The nickel 2 plus ion showed a stronger effect in the magnetic field and it has two unpaired 3D electrons. And finally the Mn4 plus ion showed the strongest effect in the magnetic field and it has three unpaired 3D electrons. So from this we can see there's an increasing effect in the magnetic field as the number of unpaired D electrons increases. Next we look at diamagnetism. From the demonstration you could see that the zinc 2 plus ion had no effect in the magnetic field. The zinc 2 plus ion is diamagnetic, it has no unpaired electrons. Diamagnetic materials are weakly repelled in an external magnetic field. Next we look at paramagnetism. So the copper 2 plus ion, the nickel 2 plus ion and the manganese 4 plus ion all showed an effect in a magnetic field. These three ions are paramagnetic, they have one or more unpaired d electrons. Materials that are paramagnetic have unpaired electrons and they are attracted by an external magnetic field. Paramagnetism increases with the number of unpaired electrons. And as we saw from the demonstration, with the increasing number of unpaired d electrons, there was an increasing paramagnetic effect. The Mn4 plus ion had the strongest effect with its three unpaired d electrons and the copper ion showed the weakest effect with its one unpaired d electron.